Hello there, welcome back to the F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. We're down to the penultimate round. It's the Australian Grand Prix. Still weird. The point standings. It's down to three men. Valtteri Bottas, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen. It's been back and forth between all three of them. And it comes down to two races. For us, we can still get Lando and get up into P6. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but uh, that's our battle. Other than that... Uh, we're already pretty sure that Guan Yu's not. No, Guan, Guan Yu's not coming back next season. It ain't happening. Uh, it don't really matter if he beats Yuki or not, but that's his battle right there. Who knows? Uh, you know, he could go up. He could go down in the next two, but likely he'll probably about stay where he's at. Uh, then there's everybody else. Uh, Alfa Romeo, no scoring, no points. Uh, same for Haas and Latifi. Tough break. So look at the vehicle performance comparison. Uh, we're still hanging out in the top four. Uh, we're kind of that point where you can't really get any more out of the car and we're, we're fixing the car up for next season uh, We've got everything in the powertrain and we need uh, seven parts to fix up here for the durability uh, And honestly, it looks like we're gonna get most of them right here. It looks like uh, We got a lot of resource points and luckily they're not too terribly expensive. Ooh, we're not quite gonna get all of them, but I mean just about uh, Yeah, that's all but one MGUK improved materials. We'll get them materials here uh, eventually. Well, that's really about that then. Um, and then we can just, I guess, save resource points for the rest of the season. And, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. All right, we'll go ahead and advance. Our new parts have completed uh, okay. the issue. They'll be on the uh, car ready for the next race weekend. Thanks. I don't think that's really how it works, but We've all right. Oh, marketing department. Grid Guide is an up-and-coming podcast with a rapidly growing audience covering the F1 rumor mill. And to be honest, it's a little shock jock. What the fuck that means but also hugely popular amongst younger f1 fans they've reached out for an interview with yourself and we think this would be a fantastic opportunity to generate buzz for the team amongst younger fans of the sport suggest inviting them down to the hq as soon as possible a hundred thousand dollars to invite these motherfuckers down to the hq where are these motherfuckers coming from the north pole that's kind of fucking stupid because like <laughs> if i decline i just lose a claim for no reason why would i lose anything for just not doing anything <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Do you stupid podcast. Alright. We'll go ahead and advance then. Uh, I added some stuff for Guan Yu. We got a funded team event. He got some uh, extra preparation in there. Not like you I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, I know. It's a focus update on Guan Yu Joe. Uh, 48. Frown face. Um, all the ratings are about still the same. Uh, actually, I kind of want to get a, uh, a focus update on everybody else. 28 for Vettel. Uh, I feel like that was about the lowest. Uh, but a lot of the focuses have gone down. Um, yeah, okay, so it's just Vettel. <laughs> I still understand what the hell the, the point of this focus shit is. I don't think it's, like, ever mattered ever. It's at least to my knowledge, I don't know. We'll see how it shakes up at the end of the season. I'm super excited. Uh, even if we don't finish season three, just to see where that, kind of how the driver changes go. But, um, with that, let's hop into it. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Uh, Mercedes is cheating. Making Q3 I literally just re fucking did Q3. Are you fucking stupid? I have no con. I, 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 Interesting result today. Would you say that you're happy with your performance? My performance. What did my performance take me to? What qualifying round? I forgot again. Imagine being this fucking stupid. Hello and welcome from Albert Park, Australia for today's race. And I think it's shaping up to be a classic. So here we are at the Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles around the lake with the street track making for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 16 corners here with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. 
Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Perez, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Wang, Ocon and Quan Yu Zhou, Vettel, Stroll, George Russell and Leclerc, Sainz, Eilert, Nikita Mazepin and Pierre Gasly, Latifi, Mick Schumacher. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Giovinazzi and Yuki Tsunoda. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, here's the deal. Uh, first off, Mercedes is fucking cheating. Uh, Lewis Hamilton was three, what was it, like three and a half tenths quicker than Botas. And then Botas was like, what, four tenths quicker than the entire rest of the field. So, like, what the fuck? I, do I put together a hell of a lap in Q3. I was, I was feeling really good about it. And then I was 1.2 seconds off Mercedes. Like, what in the actual fuck? However, uh, we're up a couple spots with grid penalties. I think signs one of them is, uh, is starting in the back and whatever else. I will tell you this. Guan Yu's moving up as well. He didn't make Q3, but now that he's moved up, he's actually... What, look at this shit. He is... Uh, I went to, to make sure I knew the order and everything. And this... I don't think I've ever seen him do this. This man's just starting on the hards off the rip. And there's only two other people in the field doing that. Pierre Gasly and Yuki starting P last. So, <laughs> I don't know how in the hell that's going to work for him. But I'm excited to see him do some shit. Uh, not on the, uh, you know, not on the most common strategy, I guess. Either way, it's Guan Yu. So, uh, we're only going to have him for another two races. I'm down to see him pull some shit. Um, I don't think this is going to work, but you never know. Alright, I spun those motherfuckers all the way to like fourth gear. Oh shit, alright, that definitely cut that. Oh, I saw he's gonna turn into me, so that's why I did that. I think everybody wrecked behind us. What the hell? I sure hope Guan Yu's alright. He's alright, isn't he? I don't think he's alright. I don't see him. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Uh huh. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Well, what the fuck? Dude, I see Guan Yu holding everybody up. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to guess Guan Yu's probably gonna be pitting. He looks like he's pitting. Well, looks like they had a fucking caution or something. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. There it is. Two Ferraris are in. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta figure out what the hell happened to Guan Yu here. Um, <laughs> all I know is I wrecked. We got going three wide. We uh, we were like, bouncing off each other. I, I didn't get the chance to see what happened. Oh, that's what happened. Wow, they literally did everything but wreck. I see. Alright, we're gonna ride on board with Chuck Leclerc here. Uh, see what he saw. I mean, four wide. This man just sends it. I don't know, I, like, I, I don't know where the fuck he thought he was going and completely ruins his race too, which is fair. Alright, last on board, this is Carlos Sainz, the other Ferrari driver. Who wants all this debris he takes the fucking face here and say, like, what is this shit? Just one after just pieces everywhere. Golly. Well, and somehow, this race is just separated into three fucking groups, it looks like. This is fucking weird. I believe group. For whatever reason, they have like four seconds on us already. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, they were just there, I don't know. The AI are on some weird shit around here. I don't know what to make of it. DRS is being uh, it's lap. very clear DRS though. When you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. I think I'm at least faster than Alonzo. I love hearing about DRS and then not being able to use DRS. It's my favorite. Uh oh, look at the run. Wow, shout out to Alonzo for acknowledging me. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Great pass. 
Thanks, that um, wasn't my finest, but uh, it works. Alright, well now I guess I'll just drive by myself for the rest of the race. I mean, look at this shit. Like, what the fuck? It's five seconds. Five and a half in three laps? Hello? What? I just now realized that I don't have a race strategy and I have a whole bunch of extra fuel in this thing. I didn't even look at it and I forgot to because once again, you always do the race practice program in practice and uh, every other fucking track you go to in this game, even though you're on the same difficulty, you'll just be like fucking a second off no matter how fast you go in the practice program, so then you just can't get a fucking strategy because the game's dumb. Uh, that's been a big reason why I haven't really enjoyed playing this game a whole lot. But, it is what it is. We'll see how it goes next year, but... Like I said, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do for strategy. Uh, probably softs to mediums is what we usually do anyways, so... I just refuse to believe that I'm like... About ten seconds off in five laps. Like, something ain't right. Well, that's the case. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it's literally just the top three teams. What the- what about the top four? I'm not that far off in development. And I especially don't think Guan Yu got that kind of speed, so like, what the fuck? Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Oh, I like strategy options. Hold on, I'll get to it. Uh, is it that button? It is that button. <laughs> yeah, let's go an extra lap. Yeah, thanks. Well, I hate to say it, we might be approaching, like, Silverstone levels of fucking boringness. I mean, we still got a long ways to go here, but... Like, what the fuck? I think the game's, like, half broke. Which, I mean, I already know it's half broke, but... It looks like it's a little extra broke this week. Ha. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh, we got some pit stops. They're almost already gonna have almost like a free pit stop. I don't know how it's quite gonna come out, but they're already rolling. They're not gonna be behind too many cars, I'll tell you that shit. Yeah, Lewis is on crack or something. I don't know what's happening here, but... Th this ain't natural. What in the fuck? Oh, that's everybody's pitting this time. And I will be as well. Yeah, we'll be seeing you, Lewis. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Whoa. Well, this is a weird one. I wonder if some of these guys are going to try the two-stopper. It seems like it's just going to be like a soft and then onto the hards. I now see what Guan Yu was kind of after. He was just reversing it, really. Go, go, go. Only good stop. Uh, either way, Guan Yu's fucked. Uh, he's, by, he's back there by himself now. Poor guy. Complete. Oh god, alright, hard tires. The worst part is, the hard tires are really gonna fuck, probably suck for me. Uh, all this extra fuel and... I don't know, it just always seems like the AI do some extra shit with the hards versus like, yeah, I don't know. They'll definitely take us a dif the distance, but... It might not be a fun experience. Every once in a while I get the hards to work. It's kind of weird, I remember I... I don't remember where it was, but this season I... Oh. Some information on Russell. They've got a serious car issue. Yeah, it's serious. Like retiring. All right, no say. I guess it's just one of those races where, all right, we're just not getting any safety cars. The game's just made up his mind. Uh, these guys got the mediums on it. I'm about to say that's probably what I should have done. That's usually what we end up doing. It's going a little longer, that's but. P8. You're now in P8. I'm about to say those softs were sucking. And the hards ain't too bad. I've done a lap on them, so. Yellow flag. Uh oh. Uh oh. Never mind. Put it out. Was that for stat? Oh shit! Of loose debris on the track. Oh, did he actually the wreck? Car is being deployed. Oh man, he just disappeared up here. I saw that. Put it out. All right. Well, that's. Uh, we'll be seeing you for stapping. That's likely gonna hand the drivers. What the fuck? It. Okay. Yep. I got it. <laughs> That's likely uh, going to uh, yeah hand the drivers world championship to Mercedes. And uh, with how this race is going, though, Why you never know. Coming in for a stop. I'd fucking hope. <laughs> this is actually. Uh, I was kind of hoping for. I was rooting for a safety car. Not gonna lie, because 
Uh, this will give a chance to group us up and especially give Guan Yu a chance. I'm telling you, dude, I would have been surprised, though, with how Guan Yu's done this, like, really the two seasons. is some of the shit that's just happened. Some of it's his own doing, some of it not. But, uh, either way, he's had some pretty fucking poo luck. Um, to have that shit go, I, to, I, like I said, I still don't know what happened. I probably edited it in a replay by now, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At least he's gonna, gonna get another go, I guess. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do strategy-wise. I'd like to come in and... Yeah, I am gonna come in and put some tires on it, I think. Uh, I'm gonna put mediums on it. Um, since we, we've got a gap. I'm gonna lose some spots doing it, but I'm not put, I'm not gonna go on these hards the whole rest of the way. Yeah, I think uh, there's the two right there to the... Yeah, I should have just went on the mediums anyways. That's okay. I guess I'm probably going to lose these two spots to Alpine. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe just one. Complete go All right, down. there we go. There's one. There's probably two. And then... Yeah, that's it. All right, so we give up, what, four spots? I don't know if it's really worth it in the end, but... Eh. All right. Well, we finally caught up. Uh, and then the rest of the field's still kind of getting here, but we should be going green this time. Uh, it's all Mercedes, and then... Hey, look at that. McLaren, Red Bull, McLaren. Uh, and then the two green cars, uh, who are on the mediums up there, played it right. Uh, I'll have to get back by those guys, but... Come on, can we go green this time? There's one Haas car, it's like, way to fuck back there, but like, who gives a shit? He'll be there in time. Bro, we're gonna have to do another fucking lap. <laughs> Ah, oh, never mind. Let's go. Lap. Safety car in this lap. Oh, my rear tires are cold. Yeah, fucking a. I, I hate that shit. How fucking cold is it out? How is it that I don't fucking work my tires for 30 seconds? Like, oh, they're freezing. They're freezing. I got Yuki back here on the sauce. Interesting. I sent that shit down in there. All right, Ocon, it's time. I'm taking a long way. I'll take the long way. I don't give a shit. <laughs> All right. Well, that's one. Alonzo, I'm coming for you, buddy. Okay, some information on Perez. They have some kind of mechanical problem. <laughs> oh, no. Red Bull's in shambles. Rip. Oh, man. What has happened here? So Perez has got car issues, and now he's jacking everybody up. Oh, this is actually going to work out. I was just uh, really uh, thinking about that call to... Come put mediums on it and give up these spots. Uh, I'm still thinking about it because I probably would have been through by now because I would have had that track position, but... Eh, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? So they got pretty good launch, I'll tell you that. Uh-oh. I'm about to stick it in here. Ah! Uh, ah, that works. Oh, and DRS. Let's go! That all got by. That's not good. I was hoping to get him beforehand, but... Come on. Now, I had the run on him, and then I didn't. Slide job? Alright, Vettel. Last man. I'm even close to in speed, I guess. I'm telling you, Mercedes is cheating. I don't know what's up with McLaren this week, too. McLaren was like, all right, Mercedes is, is just doing some shit. I don't know. They pulled some shit, too. We're going to have to find that. We're out here spending a hundred fucking grand to fly one motherfucker in for some dumbass podcast. Meanwhile, we're losing by, uh, what, a fucking second on lap to those motherfuckers, probably? Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh my god, I don't know if I fucking know. Uh oh, we got problems. Oh, it's orange. It's, uh, Ricardo. That's a spot. Put it out. Let's go. The track is clear. Green flag. I saw him. Oh man, I fucking uh, missed it a little there. Dude, I don't know what. But they're, they're cooking some extra stuff in these cars, and that's why they're breaking. That's two Red Bulls. That's a McLaren. Mercedes is the only ones that ain't blowing up. And of course they're the fastest. I call horse shit. And if I don't get them here, I'm gonna get them on that next one. Nah, I think I'm gonna get them here. The um. 
Whoa! Oh, I was kind of gonna go right by him. I didn't know he's gonna get all up in there. All right. Well, we'll be seeing you. Oh shit, we got a battle behind us. Alonzo and Vettel. Alonzo took that shit. Okay, gap ahead is 14.2 All right. seconds. Well, this looks like it's about the only battle going on right now. All right, well, here we go. White flag. There it is. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Yeah, true. Well, this was a race. We're going to come home with a nice finish. A lot nicer than I thought it would be once again. Shout out to everybody who did not finish. Uh, very helpful. I gotta say. Um, ended up, you know, being alright. Gamble for the tires. Because, uh, you know, we weren't gonna go any further ahead. Uh, just not the speed of McLaren and Mercedes, for sure. Um, uh, like I said, I don't know what the fuck's going on with them this week, but I want some of that. Let's see if we can find it. If not, I can be SOL. I mean, to be fair, there's gonna be new regulation next year anyway, so maybe that will take care of that. But um, yeah, that's fucking nuts, dude. By the way, uh, Guan Yu ended up. Looks like he's gonna get a decent result. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be points either again. But uh, you know, it's, it's better than last or whatever the fuck he's gonna finish there without that safety car. So uh, we'll fucking take it all the way around. Botas with the win uh, and fastest lap, two max points for him, so that's likely uh, going to set him up really nicely for Abu Dhabi then. Um, there you have it. All right, Whoopi P4. I need one more, one more of those motherfuckers to blow up, and I'm on the podium. Okay, pick up rubber. <laughs> but uh, we'll get him next time. Yuki Sonoda from the back. He was behind me there from the back of the grid. Uh, big day for him. Oh my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Guan Yu Zhou point. Have you ever? <laughs> Once before, maybe. I don't know how the hell he did that. He's like, what? Two tenths in front of Chuck? And signs there. I don't know how this went down, but props to Guan Yu. He still, he still ain't going to be here for season three. He will not be employed by Flipper Win Autosport, but out of boy getting one more point at least before the season's out. All right, I like that. Oh, uh, Yuki was up there behind me. That is true. He had to pit again. He still got driver of the day. Oh, that's a, once again, you know, it's a boring race. 22nd to 15th. Whoop de doo. Look at Callum Eilat up there. P13. Uh, I feel like I've said that name like twice over this entire season, but uh, attaboys uh, to him. Uh, you got all the slow pokes back here at the, uh, you know, Juvenancy, Mazepin, whatever the fuck. Schumacher. Tough breaks. Uh, three DNFs this time around. But I'm proud, man. I, I don't know why it keeps making our team thing black in the fucking this section but only this like race result I, this game i don't know <laughs> it, it just started doing this too like the last couple times i recorded i don't understand this game i really don't but uh anyways eight points for botas over hamilton i can't remember what it was going in but uh it's looking we're gonna have a valtteri botas drivers world championship here uh in the next race so here's look at the updated point standings botas has a 25 point lead but he doesn't clinch because you can get that you know extra point right if Lewis Hamilton pulls this shit off, <laughs> I would not be surprised. Both times got their DNF. Lewis Hamilton fastest lap and wins. Wins by one point. I can see it. I can see it. But there's what it's looking like. Uh, P7. Uh, Lando had a big points day. Uh, well, just ahead of me, to be honest. But, uh, you know, still put some points on me. So, we'll st we could still have a go in Abu Dhabi if he has a bad race. But if he brings speed like he did uh, in Australia, it ain't happening. Either way, P7, great for us. Uh, Guan Yu, bro, uh, tiebreaker now with, uh, Yuki now that they're tied again. So that moves him up to 14th, and, hey, alright, that's nice. Maybe Lance get him, get him one in Abu Dhabi, we'll have a three-way tie. <laughs> oh, with that, uh, that's gonna take us to Abu Dhabi for the season two finale. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back to crown a champion, most likely Botas, and Les Lewis pull something out of his ass. We'll find out in Abu Dhabi.